hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video share my video comment if you're having any problem regarding sewing all these videos you can ask me i'll be so fast to answer you actually today i'll be teaching you how to cut a peplum blouse that is what i'm going to be teaching you I, I'm, I'm going to be making use of a George fabric. This is a George. It's leftover from a George fabric. This is raw silk. I got this raw silk. I'll use it for the down part of the, the peplum. And this is the lining. And then I got this net. I'll be using this net for the sleeve. I'll be using it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be cutting. I don't want to cut on my, on my George because it's not very big. So I'll cut on the lining, then with the lining, and then cut out the George part. This George part actually is going to be for the top part of the dress. Why this raw silk I'll use for the down part. So now I'll begin by folding my fabric into two. So I'll fold my fabric into two. As I go along, I'll show, I'll tell you the measurement that I'm going to be using. I'll fold my fabrics into two like this. The measurement I'm going to be using for this um, dress is the bust is actually going to be 35. The under bust is 31. The thumb is 33. The breast point, this is the breast point here and here. This is the breast point. Why this is the under bust? It's going to be 10, 14. Then the, the breast bust span, that's from here to here. It's actually going to be 8 inches. That's what I'm going to be doing. Then the full length, I'll be using 24 inches. The half cut is going to be 15 because I actually want my peplum to be cut here, not directly under the bust. It should be here. So I'll be using 35. Since this is the largest part of the measurement, you divide 35 into 4. For beginners, if you don't know how to divide, you can just make use of your tape like this. You measure 35 like this, you just place like this. This is 1. Then you divide, you have 17 and a half, you divide 17 and a half again. And then you have 9, it's almost 9 and a half. So I'm just going to approximate it to be 9 and a half. Then I'll add 5 inches to 9 and a half. So I'll place like this. When I say 9 and a half, I'll say 1, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, 12 and a half, 13 and a half, 15. So I'll just approximate it to be 16. So I'll be folding my fabric at 16. So this is 16. So I'll measure the length that I want. Like I told you, I said I actually want it to be 15. So I'll measure 17. I'll measure 17 and a half. So I'll cut it out and then cut the back also. So this is the front and this is the back if you notice what i did the back i left i made the back a little bit bigger than the front by one and a half inch because this one and a half inch the reason is because of the zipper allowance so that's why they do this so now i'm going to be inserting my measurements into here now the first thing i'll do i'll leave half an inch on top that is going to be for my seam allowance. Half an inch up here. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now from this half an inch line, I'll measure, like I told you, the, the, the bust span, the the, the breast point, which is 10 inches. 
from here. This is 10 inches, so I roll it like this. Then from the breast point line, I'll measure the under bust, which is 14. And then I have three inches left for my allowance. These three inches will not enable it to get to the 15 inches that I wanted. Like if you see now, if you start it from the top, I have my 15 inches here, then plus the allowance, which I have, which I'm gonna be using for the as the waist. So this part, this down part now, is going to be like the, the waist. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing now for the for the bust span, I'm gonna be making use of for if you measure if you want to know how to measure your bust span, you just take your tape like this and then put you measure from one of the nipple to the other. For mine I have eight inches. So eight inches ordinarily I'm supposed to to use four. You divide it into two, but I'll, I'll be adding half an inch. So with that I'm gonna be measuring mine at four and half inch so i'll just take my tape like this and then put like this from starting from the top i have four and a half inch here because of the allowance four and a half inch four and a half and then down to i have four and a half so the next thing i'm gonna be doing like i told you this is the breast point line and then this is the under bust line. Then this is the shoulder line. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now for me to get this is the line that I measured now, which is the four and a half. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be connecting the lines together. I'll just rule it like this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now from this under bust line. I'll measure one inch. I'll take one inch to the right. What I'm actually doing now, this is like the dart. In, in, in bust years, when we're doing that, we actually cut out the dart on like regular, regular uh, princess darts that you just hold, hold your fabric from inside and then just sew it. But for bust year, you usually cut them out. So that is actually why we take this one inch from this right side of the, of the under bust and then take another one inch from this left side also i'll take another one inch from here also and then from the right top of the shoulder line i'll take one inch here and then from the left notes i'm going to be taking half an inch i'll take half an inch from this side so it's not going to be one inch i'll take half an inch so these are my lines these are like my dart lines that I'm going to be using. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, from this one inch on this right side and this left side, I'll take, I'll actually draw, draw a line from here down to this point like this. When it gets here, it will now curve. It, the, the line will, from here, it will come to this point. Then from this breast point line, I'll now take it to this side. Then the same thing, I'll do the same thing. To this one i'll take this one also like this from here down to this point and then take note since the allowance is done i'm just going to be extending my line i'll just extend it like this so i'll take my ruler now if you notice what i did it's not straight you can see it's not straight. So just take it, roll it like this, and then take it to this point. Not what I did. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing now, take this, like I told you, this one also, here like this. 
I'll take it to this point, to this breast line point also. And then roll it and then take it to join and then connect it. If you want a really big bust here, you can actually use a curve for this part. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, cut it out and then place on top and then cut the 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 dart but i'll put the back piece aside i'm not going to be cutting them together so i'll take my scissors like this note i'm not cutting the straight line the first straight line i did i'm not going to be cutting on it as you can see like i told you you now cut out you can see it's not straight like i said initially so the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll take my, the front piece like this and place here. But before then, I'll bring the, the back piece here and place. I actually want to cut them together. As you can see what I did, this is the back piece. So I now took the front one, place it like this. Now I'm going to be taking like the full measurement. I took this one, you place it on top like this. Just place on top. It's not like you place it in, at the middle. Just place at the edge like this. Make sure the lines are accurate. You just place. And leave this is the half, one and half inch that I use for the back, for the zipper allowance. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, the shoulder is 14 inches. You divide 14 inches into two, you have seven inches because the fabric is folded into two. So you divide it like this, you just place, and this is 17 inches. This is seven inches, sorry. I'll mark it like this. And then I'll use one and a half inch or two inch as my allowance of my seam allowance. This is from the shoulder line. This is one and two, two inches. Then from the two inches line, I'll take my tape like this and place and measure for my arm hole. I'm using eight inches. You can use nine, but I choose to use eight. I'll measure like this. This is this line. So I'll be connecting the lines together. So the next thing I'll do, I'll draw my arm hole curve. Like I normally say, if you don't have, you can improvise. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the, the bust measurement. So when you divide 34, sorry, 35 into 4 for to get the bust measurement. You place it, you have 9 inches like this. You place it just below the, the armhole line. It's not up to 9, but I'll just approximate it. I'll use 3 inches as my allowance. So from this point, I'll just make a line like this and then stop here. The next place I'm going to be measuring is down here, which is the, which is the, the, the waist area. So for the waist, the measurement of the waist that I'm using, I'm using 33 inches. So 33, I'll take 33 like this again. Can say have it and half and just place it like this down here or mark it and then also make use of my three inches allowance 
like this then i'll connect my lines down here so just roll it down straight so now i'm gonna be cutting it out then for the back for me to dart the back like I normally say in most of my videos, I'll just make a, a mark here at the top. I'll keep set this one apart and then another mark here. Like I usually say in most of my video, for this that I'll make a notch here from for the one and a half inch for the zipper. For me to you can choose, you can choose to do your regular darts, like I said initially, but mine, you can choose to do your regular darts for this. But I'm going to be cutting on the fabric. I don't want to cut the lining. So I'll just open it up. Because this is not my original fabric. So now I'll use this and cut out the, the judge. So for this part that I did, that's where I'm actually going to be putting my dart. So I'll just take, roll it from here like this and then come to the down part also and then roll. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be drawing a line here that I'm going to be using for my dart, for the back dart because I actually don't want to do the regular dart. I want it to have a cut and then I'll join it back. So I'll take my ruler like this and then connect the line. So I'll take half an inch from those parts. Half an inch. I'll just draw it like this. to this point and then take it out why the essence of this is for the back to be relaxed so that it will not have a bulge so this is the back and then this is the front Okay, welcome back guys as you can see i finished coupling the front of the the dress and the back this was what i was trying to tell you about the dart i, I said i wanted a straight dart that running from the up to the down part I, like i said you could do a short one like a five inch one and then this is the front i ironed soft gum stay on it and then ironed my soft chest part that's what i used so now the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll fold it like this and then cut out the neck you begin i started sewing from the up down i just held held it together like this and sewed from up down so this is the back to get the the neck you take the back piece like this and place The next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing is just a simple, a simple neck. So I'll take my tape like this. See the the back, the, the one and a half inch allowance is still there. So I'll take my tape like this and place like this. I'll be using three and a half inches for the width of the neck. I don't want it to be too small, so I'll use three and a half inches. Then the, 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 the length of the neck, like I always say in most of my videos, you can always measure, you can always measure how deep you want the neck. 
I don't really want it high, so I'm going to be making use of seven and a half inches. So I'll make it seven inches. The half inch is when I turn with my lining, it will it will take the other half part. So I'll take my chalk like this and then make a curve. So for the back, I'll just maintain the same point from here. I'll maintain the same point. So I'll just maintain the same spot here for the back. And then the, the, I'll, I'll bring it down by one inch from behind for the back. So I'll just set this apart and then make a curve like this for the back. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is my shoulder slant so why we normally slant shoulders is so that the it will not be standing and hanging so I'll just measure it like this one inch and then rule so this is it so the next thing now I'll take my full body measurement I'll take and then turn with my lining so that's it so now the next thing I'm going to be doing I'm going to be cutting the, the peplum that is for the down part and I'll begin by folding my fabrics into four so because I don't want to waste my fabric I'll fold it like this I'll measure as I fold so my fabric is folded into four. I folded my fabric into four. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, the measurement I'm actually going to be using for this um, flay, that's the waist. My waist part is actually 33 inches. It's 33. So I'll add two inches to it for the seam allowance. And for, I'm sorry, for this one inch for the seam allowance and then one inch for the... Uh, zipper allowance so i'll have 35 so i'll be making use of 35 you can start to add two inches so it depends on what you want and then the 35 inches i'll now divide by 6.28 so when i divide 35 by 6.28 which is the formula for calculating the the radius which is the the upper part of your flame i have five point five seven so i'll just approximate it to five point six so what i'll be doing now take my tape now from this top part for the from this sharp point from this sharp point i'll measure the five point five point six this is five point five so this is like five point six i'll measure it like this and then continue like this so as you can see I finished drawing the the line for the radius of my peplum which is this part this point now is the waist point of your peplum that's the waist where you are going to be attaching for my, my waist is actually 33 inches. So I added 2 inches to it. I got 35 inches. So when you divide 35 by the, the formula for calculating the radius of a circle, which is 6.28. So you now have 35 divided by 35 divided by 6.28. So when I did, I got 5.57. I now approximated it to 5.6. So you take your tape like this. What I'm going to be working with now is 5.6. 
and place like this. This is 5.6. You can see it's 5.6, 5.6. So I now drew my line. So that's how I got the radius. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, and from this radius point, I'm going to be taking the length. And for you to get the length, the full length of my blouse is actually 24 inches. And you remember that the upper part, I made it 15. That's the upper part. The first part I did was 15 inches. So what is left? I have 9 inches left. So I'll add 2 inches for the seam allowance for the down part. I'll now have 11 inches. So it's 11 inches. That's what I'm going to be cutting now. So you take your tape like this and place here and measure 11 inches here like this. So this is the full length of my blouse. So the next thing I'll do now, cut it out. And then I'll cut out my radius, the radius part. So as you can see, this is my full flay. You can see it's already, it's already there. So that's it so i'll take it to my i'll cut the lining now iron it and then when i finish sewing it i'll show you and then come back and show you okay welcome back guys as you can see i finished fixing the peplum on it so this is it i just made some little details by using stones just made it round on the dress I fixed finish fixing the zipper at the back so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the sleeve like I told you initially is the sleeve and my sleeve I've measured my sleeve I have nine inches here yeah, so this is my basic sleeve pattern like I told you initially this is my basic sleeve pattern I'll be making use of this net so I'll use this to cut out and then do some attachment to it so so you can see I finished cutting this part so I'll set it aside and then this is my my net this is what I'm going to be doing here I'm going to be pleating it on it like this I'll take it to my machine and pleat and it will come down I'll pleat it on it so this is how I did it I just folded it into two so I'll cut another one out now like this So as you can see, I've now come to the end of this illustration. If you actually like what I did with this dress, with this peplum top, with the sleeve, please don't hesitate to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not subscribed. So thank you so much for watching and bye.